In this video, I thought that I'd try and answer a few of the questions I received following a video I did last year demonstrating how to use Authy. Specifically, I'll demonstrate two scenarios, how to restore the Authy app and your codes to a new phone, and secondly, how to recover your account if you receive this message, which means that your account is still registered on a different device and you do not have multi-device enabled. I am, of course, aware that these two scenarios don't solve all the problems out there, so I'll quickly address some of the other issues that you may be having. As always, there are time tags below for you to skip ahead to the demonstration or to a specific situation you find yourself in. So let's get started. And the worst situation you can find yourself in with Authy is if you have forgotten your backup password and you do not have Authy configured on a second device. Without wishing to cause too much distress, if you have forgotten your backup password for Authy and you cannot decrypt your codes, you are in trouble because since your backup password is never sent to Authy or stored on their servers, Authy is unable to recover it. If you find yourself in this situation, as Authy explains, hopefully you still have access to your codes on a different device. Otherwise, you'll need to try and log into each of your online accounts, disable two-factor authentication and start again, which will likely require several support calls or emails to the vendors. If you've forgotten your backup password, but you do have access to Authy on another device, say a laptop or a desktop, you can simply change your backup password by using the other device. Click on settings followed by accounts to change it. Authy does not ask for your current password in order to replace it with a new one. So once changed, you can use this new password to decrypt the codes on your phone. Another common scenario is changing your phone number, say if you're traveling overseas. My recommendation here is to enable multi-device support by clicking on the settings icon and devices in the menu. Install Authy on a laptop or desktop and then you have the option to update your phone number by clicking on settings followed by general and then clicking on edit. I can't demonstrate how this will look on your phone because I don't have an alternative phone number to switch to, but there are complete instructions on the Authy website, which I'll link to below. Note that when you change your phone number, you'll be sent an SMS to the new number. So you can only complete this process once you've activated that new number. If you want to change your phone number, but you do not have Authy set up on a second device, then you can put in a request to Authy and they should be able to help you, but it does take a few days. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below to where you can access that on the Authy website. If you have any other queries that I haven't covered, then you can send an email to Authy by going to this URL, which again, I'll link to in the description below. Type your query into the search box. You'll initially receive an automated response, which may help you resolve your problem, but if it doesn't, scroll down and click on no, show me more. You'll receive more automated information, and if that doesn't help, you'll then have the option to contact support where you can send them an email. I just recommend being as descriptive as you can when you send this email to help the support staff diagnose your problem. Okay, with all that out of the way, on with demonstrating how to restore your Authy app to a new phone the correct way. And the first thing you need to do if you haven't already is back up your keys by clicking on the settings icon in the top right corner of the screen, followed by accounts in the menu and enabling authenticator backups. Set a password for your backups. You'll need to use this password when restoring your Authy app on your new device. If you skip the first part of this video, it is vitally important that you use a memorable password or keep it somewhere safe because if you forget it, this is where you can run into trouble with Authy. You'll be asked to confirm the password and then you're done. At this point, it's also a good idea to enable multi-device support by clicking on devices in the menu. Having Authy installed on a second device allows you to access your account and change your backup password in the event that you ever forget it. I've already demonstrated installing Authy on a second device in a separate video, so I won't repeat that here. Okay, having backed up your keys and stored a copy of your password somewhere safe, you shouldn't have any issues restoring Authy to your new phone. However, unless you're planning on trading in, I would recommend setting up your new phone before wiping the current one just to be extra safe. But maybe I'm just being overly cautious. 
make sure you do a complete backup, which iOS will recommend you do anyway before erasing all content and settings. Having restored your new phone from an iCloud backup or transferred your apps and data from one phone to the other, you should see the Authy app on your home screen and just give it a few seconds to install. If you're starting from fresh on a new phone, simply download Authy from the App Store. Opening Authy for the first time, you'll be prompted for your mobile phone number. Now just bear in mind that this process assumes that you're not changing your phone number, you're only changing your phone. If you are attempting to change your phone number, then I've covered that earlier in the video. You'll be asked to verify the number either by receiving an SMS or if you enable multi-device support and have Authy installed somewhere else, you can use that, but I'll choose SMS. Enter the code and your 2FA accounts will be restored from backup. At this point, they are still encrypted because Authy does not store a copy of your password, but clicking on any of them will prompt you to enter your backup password. And there we have it. Having entered your password, your codes are now restored to your new phone and are ready to use. If you enter a phone number and you receive this message, well, this can occur when Authy is still installed on another device and multi-device support isn't enabled. Don't worry because all is not lost. You simply need to follow the instructions by browsing to authy.com forward slash phones forward slash reset. This will bring you to this page where you can select the issue you're having. My issue is that I can't install Authy and I'm seeing the multi-device error. So I'll click here and then I'm prompted to enter my phone number. This will initiate the account recovery process which takes between 24 and 48 hours. You'll receive an email explaining the process and you'll need to click start to confirm you wish to proceed. After a day or two, you'll hopefully receive this email confirming that your account has been recovered and as the message describes, you can run through the setup process by entering your phone number and entering your backup password to recover and restore your codes. So that is how to back up and restore Authy to a new phone and troubleshoot any issues that you might be having with the app. Visit the website for lots more tips on Authy and all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick videos like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.